what's good youtube family welcome back to another one of my video vlogs in this one we are going to talk about why it is difficult to sustain a consistent workout routine in our daily lives my intention behind this video is just to give us some knowledge behind why we don't exercise as much as we know we should be and to give us some tools that we can implement that will support our journey in cultivating and sustaining a consistent long life term lifetime workout routine you feel me so with that said before i talk about what we're going to talk about in this vlog those of you that aren't new to the channel you already know how i love to do things around here <clears throat> i love to smoke up that god gifted herb that ganja before anything and everything i do almost all day every fucking day so those of you that love to smoke up that herb, bring out your your cannabis with your boy, your pops, bubbler, straight shooter, steamroller, bong, rig if you love to dab it, pre-roll, blunt, joint, vape pens with your boy, what have you. Let me know down in the comments whatever it is you're smoking up on this Friday, wake and bake. It is currently 9 a.m. time frame I'm recording this vlog on. And yeah, and yeah, let me know what strain you're smoking up, indica, sativa, hybrid, the name of your strain, throw it down below, you know I want to know. What is your boy smoking up? I'm smoking up an indica strain as always. The name of my strain is Watermelon Skittles. It is a live resin from the Buddies brand, as you guys can see. Shout out Buddies. Very high quality top shelf fucking cannabis grown outdoors in natural fucking sunlight. You feel me? The way nature intended for this herb to be grown. So yeah, you can feel it. You can taste it. Top quality top shelf highly recommend it as always and yeah before we talk about why it's difficult to consistently work out day after day or at least multiple times a week um let's take some blinkers you feel me got my battery on hopefully you guys are ready to hit your shit too if you are cheers First, not first blinker of the day, first blinker of the vlog with you guys. I was already smoking up <coughs> a couple dabs before I started this vlog, so I am pretty fucking faded already, but that's how I love to start my day. You feel me with a nice cup of hot matcha tea, some good nice creamer in that bitch, some cannabis, maybe even some nicotine pouches to enhance that cognition, that focus. And yeah, that's just how I love to start my morning shit. Let's take another blinker and then start to talk about this subject. Cheers, fam. man excuse me shit fire like i said all right you guys let's start talking about why it's difficult to fucking exercise consistently um i learned these ideas from the great holistic health practitioner paul chuck i'm sure many of you guys viewing viewing this probably know who i am talking about but if you don't know who Paul Chuck is, definitely go Google him or search him up on YouTube. He's, like I said, a holistic health practitioner with over uh, 40 years, I believe, of uh, clinical fucking practice, of actual <coughs> practice within his work. And uh, yeah, he has a lot of knowledge, wisdom gained throughout his life, throughout his experiences. And... These are principles that I learned from him, utilized and implemented in my life and have benefited from. Meaning, in other words, these principles that I am going to talk about, these ideas have helped me actually be consistent with exercising all the time. And I've been exercising consistently almost every day, if not every other day, taking 
two days max off for rest weekly for about the past i would say eight years since i graduated high school back in 2015 right even in high school i was working out but not as consistent as when i graduated and up until today 2023 these things i learned from paul check and these things are two things that uh, make it difficult for us to be consistent with exercise and those two things are the mind and our energy so let's start with the mind most of us don't have an ideal goal or dream set in place mentally that compels us to work out once we set a dream or goal for ourselves and how we want to look and the reason we get detailed with that dream and and actually develop a reason why we want to look and be healthy and work out. Once we cultivate a dream that's compelling, that makes us actually take action every single day, makes us want to take action, then we focus on energy. But first, let's dive more deep on the mind aspect. Let me give you guys an example, meaning in my own life, the story that I created that in my mind, the, my dream in my life for my physiology and my health is to age gracefully, to age without physical disease as long as possible, to age healthy, vital, strong, and slow down aging, the aging process internally, physiologically. My goal is to keep a sharp, good, clear mind all throughout my lifespan so I can continue to learn develop my intelligence and become something in life and be of value i work out i want to work out so i can you know uh have that good brain power to have good memory recall uh focus like i mentioned earlier uh working out supports all of those functions within our brain working out has shown in science to produce this protein in the brain called BDNF, which stands for brain derived nootropic factor, which is like miracle growth for the brain. It's proteins that grow more brain cells, neurons, connections. So working out literally makes us more smarter, more intelligent. <clears throat> and knowing that I want to sustain that as long as possible all throughout my lifespan. So I could continue to, you know, go to school and get a degree and, and actually get a career that will start to do things in the world that make greater impacts than what i'm doing right now which isn't really much of a huge impact but it's still impactful some of these vlogs you feel me anyways um so yeah the mind create a goal my goal is to age gracefully to age healthy strong have good bones good skeletal muscle so when i have grandkids way later in my life so let's say my 50s 60s or who knows probably sooner we'll see um depending on when i have kids and if my kids have kids early in their life yeah that's a whole other subject but i want to be a strong fucking grandfather that can play with his grandkids you feel me that's cognitively there that's actually not mentally disabled or physically disabled you feel me another thing is yeah, I want to look good as I age, but that's not the main fucking goal. My dream and goal is to age, ultimately is to age without developing disease. And exercise has been shown time and time again in research to be a very potent form of natural preventative medicine. And if we indulge in it consistently all throughout our life, then we remain and sustain good health and vitality and strength and that's what we want you feel me that's what i want at least and that's what drives me to work out every day literally I, when i wake up and i don't want to work out my mind is telling me uh take the day off it's okay you're already consistent all the time anyway or whatever the mind throws my way that day i remind myself well what's my dream my goal why do i want to work out anyways why am i working out what's the point I remind myself because I don't want to get disease and the, the more we age and we're all aging, the weaker the body gets. And if we take a day off, literally you feel that you feel that the next day, you're not as energetic because 
exercise actually produces energy as well. We're not as cognitively there as we would be if we did work out because we just know the difference from working out. We know the difference of how our body performs when we work out versus how we do when we don't work out. And <clears throat> yeah, as we age, you just notice how the body loses vitality year after year. That's natural. That's what we're all going to go through. That's what we all are going through. And so, yeah, you can slow that progression through exercise. And I do, I just remind myself daily that it's a mental game. What's my dream, my goal, and why am why do I want to work out? Create a dream and a goal in your mind, detailed, and, and know why you want to work out. That's the first step. The second step is our energy, fam. Most of us don't even have the fucking energy and vitality to even get after it. We are fatigued. And we don't have the resources and nutrients necessary to, necessary to work out. So once we develop the goal, the dream, and we're ready to work out, first, that's done. Second, <clears throat> focus on loading up on whole food nutrition, meaning organic whole foods, organic certified organic vegetables, fruits, and when it comes to meats, buying grass-fed, grass-finished, pasture-raised animal products, because long story short, those are whole foods that are very, very minimally, if not at all processed. And it's very good for our health, our cellular functions that um, digest all of those nutrients and actually assimilate and eliminate everything that is needed and isn't needed. So yeah, there's less toxic loads in organic pasture raised foods so buy those load up on them and work out when you feel that you have the energy and ener the actual energy and urge to work out once you feel that then that's when you know that your your body is good it's loaded up on energy it has the reserves and the nutrition on board to actually work out and benefit from a workout because if you work out without actual good nutrition and energy in your body then you're going to start to do more harm than good meaning you're going to start to deplete what deplete more of what you don't even have in you and your body's going to start to break down it's going to become catabolic instead of anabolic which is growing it's going to become catabolic because you don't have enough proteins enough enzymes on board from raw foods like vegetables to even break down proteins and digest them and absorb them to grow muscle you're depleted on minerals vitamins everything necessary to actually make nutrition work in the body so focus on your energy by focusing on good whole food nutrition consumption i'm telling you from personal experience because i wake up every day vital with that energy to get after it and get a 30 minute workout in you feel me and it doesn't even have to be 30 minutes science shows 15 to 30 minutes a day of exercise is all that's needed and really you just have to walk too you have to get the body pumping essentially and most of us don't even do that go as far as walking a fucking dog or walking ourselves you feel me Get after it. It's fucking good for our health and our longevity and for us to do things with our life. For us to be a force of value with energy and purpose in life, you feel me? A lot of us are just lazy bums laying in bed all day in our room and that's not okay. Our world needs more cognitive power and and people of value and and forces of value um, and productivity in the world. And we can only be forces of productivity and of value in the world if we have the energy for it, you feel me? So focus on your, your nutrition, get your nutrition right, load up on that good food, and then work out and actually benefit from the workout. And yeah, so it's difficult to exercise consistently to conclude this video because we don't have an ideal goal or dream for working out for our long-term lifespan, for our end of our life, what we want to look like, feel like, be like. Number two, we don't have the energy for it. 
get those things in check and then just naturally see and pay attention and be observant of yourself and how you start to just naturally work out as if it's like something you do every day like just putting on your shoes to go to work or not everyone unfortunately brushes their teeth but like if you brush your teeth every day take a shower every day just put on clothes every day right like it's just a necessity exercise is a necessity again if you want to be healthy minimize your chances and re drastically reduce your chances of developing disease illnesses cancers and yeah just if you want to function better at your top peak that you can be exercise it's good for you it's good for all of us and that is going to conclude this vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed it gained some value make sure to leave a thumbs up support the algorithm leave a comment let's close out with a dab you're a real one if you tuned in fucking 60 minutes cheers fam That was a, a dab and a half. <coughs> That's going to be it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.